Bonjour Friendship Ladies! In this video today, I am going to talk to you about bright colors for women over 50. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the little bell to receive notifications and please share this video to your many friends. Thank you. You may have noticed everywhere already in the shops that bright colors, the brightest of shades, are in for the spring and summer. So you may want to wear bright colors, but the thing to remember is after 50, a complexion starts to change, a color, uh, a hair color also, and you may have already, you know, starting to go gray and maybe, you know, wanting to keep your hair gray. So of course, you know, you have to be sure that bright color suits us. So in the next segment, I am going to teach you a simple techniques that always works to see if you can wear bright colors close to your face. I have received many comments that you are finding very difficult to choose the right color and shade for your complexion. Now, in French Chic, we always go the simplest route. And why is that? Because simple always works. I have studied color theory, and even in the systems, the acid test is always the technique I am going to show you now. The simple French Chic technique I always teach, because it works, is you bring the garment in that color or shade in the natural light. That is very important, the natural light. Okay, you face the natural light and you look at yourself in the mirror. Okay, now what do you look, what do you see? Okay, look at the effect of that shade, okay? On your face, on your skin, at your eyes. Does it make your eyes look brighter? Or does it give you bags under your eyes? You know, does your skin look tired? Or does it look brighter? Okay, this is the kind of thing you have to look at. And let's not forget, you need to look at your hair as well. Okay? So you look at clothes, you look at everything. The effect on your face. Okay? So, if your face looks really bright and you look refreshed as if you've just come back from a holiday, you know that that shade is for you. But on the opposite, you know, if you look tired, if you have big bags under your eyes, you look pale, you know, um, sometimes you may even look older, then you know that that shade, that item is not for you. There's something else I wanted to add, it's about the fabric, because sometimes we have preconceived ideas. We may think, oh, bright fuchsia does not suit me. But maybe bright fuchsia, in uh, silk or in satin does not suit you, maybe it's too bright. But if you have it in matte, then suddenly it does suit you better. So always, always, always try the item because fabric will change the effect on your face. Now, what if those bright shades don't suit you near your face, but you still want to wear those bright shades? You know, because you want to bring in a little bit of fun in your outfits. You want to look a little bit more modern this spring and summer. So what can you do? The simple thing to do is to wear a neutral color, you know, here in the top area of your body. And of course, the shade that suits you. But wear the bright shade lower down. So as a skirt or pair of trousers. So you may have seen the photos of the catwalks where the outfits are all in those really, really bright shades. So we have the dress and we have the shoes and we have the jacket and we have the handbags or we have uh, the jacket, top trousers, shoes, you know. And of course in French chic it's going to be far too much. So the best thing to do, the most chic and elegant thing to do is of course to pick just one item. Just you know, the top or just the trousers, or an accessory, or maybe the dress. 
and I will talk in the next section how to dress in bright color according to your body shape. And the takeaway here is if you want to wear brightest of shades this spring summer is to choose only one piece. So whether it's a top, whether it's a trousers or the skirt or maybe just one accessory. So pick one item in one bright color and keep the rest neutral. And now the advice for body shapes. How can you wear the brightest colors, you know, according to your morphology, according to your body shape? Because this is a very important, of course, it is the foundation of French chic dressing according to your body shape. So you want to wear the brightest of colors this spring summer. Okay, so let's remember that that bright color, that item in that brightest of color will attract the eye. It will become the focus of your outfit. So of course it is important that you know exactly which area of your body you are ready to emphasize. And of course, what do I mean by you know, wanting to emphasize a particular area of your body? It's, of course, once you know your body shape, you want to attract the eye to the area you are most happy with. Or you wish to attract the eye away from another area you are less happy with. So let's take the apple shape. As an apple shape, you have a large tummy, so you want to divert the attention away from your tummy area. So the best thing to do is to wear a bright color either above the tummy area or below the tummy area. So you could go for maybe for a scarf that will attract the attention away from the tummy or maybe for trousers or even the shoes. So this is a very good technique to do. And now for pear shapes. So if you are pear shaped, you have a narrow upper body and a wider lower body. So the best thing to do for you is to wear bright colors on the upper area. So maybe as a scarf or as a top. If you are an inverted triangle shape, this is the opposite of the pear shape. So you have a wider upper body, especially at the shoulders, with a narrow lower body. So for you, the bright color should be worn on your lower area. For instance, in a skirt and trousers or shoes. And if you are an hourglass or a rectangle, your lower and upper body are in visual balance, so you can wear a bright color, for instance, as a dress. So please let me know if those tips and techniques are going to help you to select bright colors from now on, bright shades from now on. And please let us know as well about your horror stories that you have choosing or wearing bright colors, maybe in the wrong areas of your body or maybe the wrong shades, please let us know and share below. So below is a video you might enjoy watching. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click like and share to your many friends. A bientôt.